This next trail is called the clothesline. So all we did was take about seven or eight belts, tied them together. So you're gonna have your students on one side of the floor, just have them lined up, and you're going to need somebody to walk with you holding the rope on both ends. So we're gonna have two different levels here. We're gonna have a low level. So go ahead and pull it out for me, Zach. Back up a little bit, good. So you want it about maybe a foot off the ground, and of course, depending on how advanced your students are or how old your students are, you can always bring the jump portion of this drill up a little bit higher. Keep in mind, the majority of the drills that you see on this site can be done with the early, young, three, four, five, six year olds, and it can be done with the adults. It really just comes down to how you teach it. So don't be afraid to try some of these in any age group. They're always gonna be a lot of fun. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with it a little bit low. Now as we start walking towards you, you start jogging towards the rope. Once you get close to the rope, we are not going to stop. We are gonna continue to go. So you've gotta be able to jump up high enough to clear the rope, land on the other side, and then come to right about where the green and the blue meet on this side. And then when we start walking back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up a little bit higher. You have to squat down, step underneath it, Couple of rules, no falling or rolling on the ground to get underneath it, no knees touching and no hands touching. So you're gonna wanna come up, squat down really low and let it go over your head. Does everybody understand you, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, ready? So let me see a little bit of a jogging motion. Once we start walking towards you, you start jogging towards it and jump up really high. Very nice. Now, once you get there, stop. Keep on jogging though. I want those feet moving the whole time. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise it up a little bit higher. We're gonna start walking back towards you. I want you to go underneath it by squatting. Excellent, there you go. So now as you continue to go here, we're gonna speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, making it more challenging. All right, you ready, Zach? Let's do this for real, and go. Very good, and bring it up. Nice, way to get under, going back. Very good, so the better they get, the faster you can get, like once everybody's up, you can go right back. So that last person, we start chasing them down. Good, and time, wait on the other side. Okay, so now what we wanna do is once you jump up and over, I want you to add a kick. So as you're jumping over the rope, I want you to add a kick while you're in the air. It can be a jumping side kick, it can be a jumping roundhouse kick, it can be a jumping front kick. Anything you wanna do, we're gonna add a nice loud key up here. Ready guys? And go. So now we're going back and forth, you're jumping up high, key up. Very good, so now we're gonna keep it low. A couple of rounds, we're just gonna go back and forth, it's gonna be low, and you're gonna do uh, jumping front kicks, jumping round, jumping side with key ops. Good, that's it. Right back up. Go, let's keep it low, Zach, on this one, ready? Good, good, good. Get those legs up. I don't want to hear or feel anybody touch that rope. Good, last one. Nice. Okay, so this time, as we start coming back, it's going to be higher. So go ahead and back up a little bit for me. Let's pull the slack out. There we go. So now you're going to duck underneath, go through. When you come out, throw a couple combinations, couple kicks, couple strikes. So you're going to come under, come back up, pop, 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 whatever you want. Ready, go. So underneath, underneath, come back up. Couple combinations, good. Now remember, you're gonna do good techniques. One, two, three moves. Good. We're coming back, we're coming back. Excellent job. Now, for the last round, what you guys are gonna do is when you jump over the rope, you're gonna add the kicks to it. When we come back and you go underneath, come up and add some more techniques. Does everybody understand, yes sir? Are you guys getting tired, yes sir? All right, all right, here we go. Ready, and we're keeping it low. Jump kicks, jump kicks, good. Now we're coming back, we're keeping it high, go underneath. Come up, couple moves, couple moves. Come on, we got one more round, we got one more round. Very good. Come on, last one, man, you gotta be ready. And perfect. Okay, so now, to do it in a challenge round style, uh, if you touch the rope at all, you're gonna be out of the round. So as soon as you're out, I want you to come and sit right up against the back wall. Everybody understands? Okay, ready. So now when you're holding the rope, it's kind of really easy to feel when somebody does hit it and it's very simple, even if you have a bunch of kids doing this drill, to see who actually hit it. Okay, ready? So we're going to keep it low first and go. Now we are definitely going to speed things up a little. Now you don't have to do techniques in between, guys. We're just going up and over. That's it. Good. Chase them down. Chase them down. 
Good, you got to be right back up on your feet. Remember to always face the rope. Good, come on, they're getting quick. Oh, he's out. Oh, there's two, three. All right, got three out. There's only two left. He's out of there. And time. Very good. So that's how you would do the challenge round. You just start speeding things up, chasing them down. Eventually, you'll get them all out. You'll get down to the final one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's how we do it. Have fun with that one. Let's see some variations. Put it in a number upload area.